You're watching Suck Professor. Hello, everybody. It's me, Hank. I'm joined by... James. Hey, James. Hey. All right, James. We're looking at the exotic rifle, uh, the scout rifle, Jade Rabbit. Yep. There what, it is. What's so great about this? Well, this is an exotic scout rifle, as you just mentioned. There it is. But one key thing about this is that it's only available, as of now, as an exclusive to the PlayStation console. Xbox players cannot quite yet get this gun. Oh, man. Well, yet another reason to put to burn your Xbox. Yeah, and one of the main things people will notice about it right away is it's got the little rabbit down there, uh -huh. which is mentioned in the name, which yep. is also you'll notice that's kind of it mirrors one of the emblems you can get in the game. A lot of people are kind of speculating that this gun is the pretty much the fate of all fools gun. And if anyone who's, follows Destiny pretty closely, they'll know that there is an exotic gun called the fate of all fools, uh -huh. which is only in possession of one player. And I believe it was something along the lines of he had some sort of a brain condition caused him to have trouble making neural pathways. But he said in a news report that playing Destiny helped him to recover because the repetitive nature of the gameplay helped him to forge new pathways. Wow, it seems horrible to take a guy with a brain disorder and call him a fool. That seems Yeah, wrong. well, I mean, but he's the only one who has it. And yeah. now, as of this DLC, that gun still remains elusive. No one else has found it or can find it. What? And now the Jade Rabbit's out, and there's a perk on it called the Fate of All Fools. Oh, that's so clearly that's what that is. So yeah. maybe this is the next evolution of the gun. Maybe this is yeah. what we're going to get. Maybe the disabled so, guy finally shared his treasure maybe. with the rest of us. So this, it says, chain body shots to gain bonus damage in your next precision shot and return ammo to the mag. All right. That's pretty good. If you, I mean, sometimes you just can't go for the headshot. You're going to yeah. get a few body shots, and then it's just an extra gravy on top when you get the headshot. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, Hell yeah I like man. that. Obviously here, this is just the infused node. Nothing to really Is yours all there. the way uh, no, juiced up? No, no. A maximum would be 310. Oh, yeah. I was not quite 300 light level when I decrypted this Ingram, so right. I got a 290. All right. Well, but I can know. always infuse it and get it up to 310 if I you'll, wanted to. You'll get it there eventually. you gotta got to believe in yourself. All right, so let's take a quick look at the, the, the scopes. Yeah, let's see them. So soft ballistics, less recoil penalty, penalty to Yeah, we impact. want to show what the scopes look like. There so, it is. Really? Yeah, one thing you can notice, it also highlights... Yeah, so that's enemies. that's not normal, that highlight thing. Yeah, there's that a few red guns outline. that do that as of the DLC, but it's yeah. not, you know, it's not typical to the guns. Have you found in, in your time playing that a scope can make a giant difference in your performance? Oh, yeah. I mean, Obviously, it's yes, but, like, have you found some that you just really love as a personal matter? Is it how little it's in the way? You know, that kind of stuff? No, not really. It's, it's, it's all a matter of personal preference. I tend to kind of stick with the first one that I get used to. Yeah, you get so used to. let's just see what the next one looks yeah, like. This is one. CQB Ballistics, greatly reduce recoil, significant impact to range. A range, all right. It looks oh, like the same. Same, okay. So they yeah. don't give you different scope options on here. Okay. So let's see if the bottom one gives us a little bit more we'll flavor do it on fast. the look. Yeah, we'll see here. So this says Smart Drift Control. I think it's going to be over there. It's going to give us more. So oh, these are just the standard, you know, the stats. It's not going to really yeah, affect how those things are just look. Slight stat shifts. Yeah. Basically. So let's okay. move on. You ever so, ask an enemy to hold still while you change your scope and be like, "Ah, yeah. oh, I need more range." Yeah. Sometimes they'll do it. <laughs> if they're okay. sleeping. Yeah. Spray and play increases reload speed of the weapon to the mag is empty. So yep. okay, let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. So right now we shoot a few shots. This mm -hmm. is our reload. That's at eight. Yep. You reloaded at eight. Yep. Okay. So now if I empty out the entire mag, your final. So it auto-reloaded oh, okay. for me. I didn't have to tell it to do that. That's pretty sweet. Normally, oh, that is actually great. I'm such an idiot when I play. I forget that. I'm like, why isn't my gun working? What's going mm -hmm. on here? Something's wrong. Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. So, and I did notice a substantial difference in that. Yeah, so you now know? you notice we're on the extended mag. It gives yep. us 11 rounds. Okay. If we were to change to another one, that's going to decrease down to 7. That's a right. pretty significant decrease. So yes. you're going to be reloading a lot more often and being hit with the spray and play a lot more often. So uh, you notice that when you have your extended mag out. Yeah. Your reload speed is a little bit slower than if you're using the speed reload. Yes. So, but the speed reload comes at the cost of reducing your magazine from 11 to 7, which is a significant penalty. Sort of a play style thing, though. If it does right. it automatically and you're mostly just holding the button down, you can kind of time your ducking around corners and right. stuff. All right, what's the bottom one? the last one? one is custom optic, optics. Right. It takes your reload speed down if you're coming from a speed reload perk. Yeah. But it says precision glass for better zoom. So this is really what I was looking for in the beginning. Oh, yeah. But ah, you see right same there, thing. I don't really notice much difference there. Yeah. Well, look, we can do a side-by-side. -side. If you stay, if you stand exactly in one spot... <laughs> did you stab that guy in the face? Uh, yeah. Oh, that, boy. That's the perks of being a hunter. Those, those take a while to, to heal. Okay, now that's the zoomed-in one. The one on the right is... It's pretty pretty substantially closer to the one on the left. 
That's pretty cool. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. I noticed the difference. Oh, yeah. get him! Get him! Yeah. Oh. Get him! Oh. <laughs> he went back to hiding. Yeah. They're, they're pretty. <laughs> I like how they re he like rethought his plan. Whoa! What did you just? Has a throwing knife. Oh, you got throwing knives. I love all the technology. Yeah, so I, Chinese I you, stars. I see what you mean. Like yeah. that uh, ammo crate right there looks a little bit bigger. Yes. Totally. Okay, I would not have noticed that. That's yeah. a very good catch. It's hard. Well, you know, we, we're not doing side by side. We're pretending. But on the on the screen, I'm going to edit. It will be side by side. You'll you'll see the difference when you see the video. Okay. I you, James is a cyclops. Everybody, his depth perception is about oh, as good yeah. as a as good as a myth mythological creature, who uh, lives in the woods and terrifies children for not having candy. <laughs> All right, Zen moment. All right, so causing damage with this weapon increases its stability. You notice the stability perk on this is not the best, but it's also not the worst. Right. This is kind of hard to uh, you know see uh -huh. because actually let, let's let's you can't turn it, it off. Let's see. Normal stability. You see right here. There's a bit of a recoil right yeah. there. See. So if I start causing damage, let's see if my shots get progressively more accurate. Okay. With less recoil. Well, uh, you, you, you kind of yeah, ruined huh? it there by murdering him. Well, okay, let, let's see. Kneecaps. It seemed like it. It's kind of it's a little tough to say. I, you know, you're kind of coming at it from a different angle. Well, no, it's, it's all about the recoil. Well, game. I know, but you're down lower. It's a little. Okay, let's slightly. try it like yeah. this. Yeah. It's. I'm sure it's one of those things that it's in, a minor in, in the moment you'll you'll see the spot that different. All right, cool. What else should we look at about this gun? Anything? Um, that's worth pretty much out? the only other thing I could think of is the flavor text for it. Bungie is very well known for writing little comical things in their guns for their yeah. descriptions. Okay. So let's see what they gave this one. What did they say? Oh, what did the G? Uh -oh. Get out of here! What is that? I'm trying to make a video here. Come yeah. on. Jerks. Get out. It's like filming a porno at the park. So let's see. What kind of harebrained scheme have you got in mind this time? Harebrained, nice. Aha! Uh -huh. Very good. Very yeah. good. I mean, yeah. I probably will not be using this gun. It, you know, it doesn't really have the kind of perks on a scout rifle that would draw me in. Uh huh. It's uh, you know, scout rifles are typically known for their range impact. This has both range and impact in spades. Yeah. But for uh, a scout rifle, I typically like something that's got a little bit more splash damage to it. Okay. I, and by that, I mean like Firefly. Like like the Firefly. How do you yeah. get the the Jade Rabbit? Does it the hop Jade into Rabbit? your lap? Uh, well, yeah, it's, uh, you can get that from an exotic Ingram. I, I don't okay. believe uh, Zur has yet sold it, and I also don't believe he will sell it because it's currently an exclusive for the PlayStation. Okay, right. So, yeah, they would put it on both, both platforms. And it hasn't been available at the store, but it's right. dropped. Right, and it's also worth noting this is a kinetic damage gun and it's not elemental. Of course, of course. I think everybody watching knew that already. Yep. Don't, I don't think you should be so condescending, okay, buddy? JK, JK, JK. Well, very good, James. Thank you very much. Anything else to say? Nope. All right, have a seat. Pop it. a squat. Put your tank down the floor. Let's all take a breather. Subscribe to our channel. Yeah, we've got a bunch of other weapons videos and sword videos and some playthroughs, PvPs. I'm terrible. James is awesome. You can watch us yell at each other while I try to control his characters and get us all killed. Sounds good. James, don't you dare quit me.